Right, this was a question from Alan Bray. And he says to me, or well, he put it in the comments, if you do, thank you very much, much appreciated. He said, Pete, I know you're always going on about Lutons. He said, but how is a Luton better than a long wheelbase if a long wheelbase can carry 1,400 kilos, whereas your Luton can only carry a tonne? It's a fair question. Um, a few reasons I was saying. Firstly, um, I don't know if you can carry 1,400 kilos in a long wheelbase. You probably can if you've got the right long wheelbase. And the same argument can be made with the Luton. You can carry a tonne in a Luton, particularly if it's like maybe if it's curtain and alley framed and no tail. If you might be able to carry more, but most of them probably 850 if you're honest about it. If it's rigid and it's kind of uh, not curtain side and it's got a towel lift on it and it's got a fuel tank of gas and it's got a pallet truck in it and you take it to a wide bridge shot so you'll go, ooh. The reason why Lutons are better than long wheelbases is it's not really about the weight when it comes down to vans. A lot of the time it's about capacity. So in your long wheelbase, you can get three pallets in. In a Luton, you can get five, six at a push if you know what you're doing, particularly with a curtain side, you can get six in. Secondly, the length. In your long wheelbase, you're looking at a three metre bed. In a Luton, you're looking at a four metre bed. So in which case, if, you, if you've got an actual got the Luton, which is what the Luton is actually refers to, the bit above the cab, and you measure like corner to corner, you can probably get five metres in. I've had jobs before where I've had to move two curtain poles, but they've booked me and they've booked me Luton money because they're five metre poles. And they know if they don't put it on a Luton, it's got to go, if they don't find the right motor, it's going on a truck, and then it's going to cost them silly money. Other things about Luton is obviously space. If you've got to move a ton of foam, there's no weight to it, but you want that capacity. You want to know that you can get six pallets worth of foam in there, which again, you can't do in a long wheelbase. Then you've got the fact that if it's curtain side, it can be side loaded. So if you've got a long pallet, okay, you know, it's, the pallet is like three meters long. It would technically fit on a long wheelbase, but we haven't got forks long enough, or it's closed ended. We can't pick it up from one side. We can only pick it up from the other side. So whereas it would technically go on a long wheelbase, we physically can't get it in and, in and out again, unless you've got a curtain side long wheelbase. And I've got to say, I've never seen one of those. Seen one with a tail lift, mini tail lift, never seen one with um, a curtain side. An odd tail lift, there's the next one. Okay, well, it's four, it's three pallets, but when it gets to the other side, it's got to be delivered to the customer's address, and it needs to come off on a pallet. You can't strip it down and handball it, they want it on pallets. And that's where tail lifts always shine, in the fact that a lot of the time they'll fork it on, you put your tail lift flat on the floor, and the forks will go in, and they'll drop it, and you can drag it around with your pallet truck. But the other side, it's domestic, it's going to a driveway, it's a, it's a pallet of tiles, okay, it's curbside, but it's on you. So it will need a tail lift to take it off. It's only half a tonne, and bear in mind with tail lifts, which is something that shippers often miss, is they say, we're gonna book a truck, or we're gonna book it because it needs it's a tonne, it needs a really big tail lift. No, it don't. Not if it's forked on. My tail lift on a Luton would do two, three tonne. If it's going down, just wouldn't do it going back up again. <laughs> it will drop any size you like. Admittedly, there comes a point where you'll actually break the tail lift. You want to be careful. But um, it would drop any weight you like. But if the customer then turned around and went, oh, no, that's the wrong one. Can you take it back? And, oh, no, I'd like to. I can't. There's a little ball in the tail lift operation. If I try and lift that, you can't burn their motors out. What will happen is if the pressure is too great, the ball pings to one side and the oil just circulates. It doesn't go to the pump. So that's one thing. If you've got a little bit of tail lift, I think that somebody told me which you can't actually physically burn the pumps out. But there's your reasons. Because it delivers pallets, because it gets more space in, because it's got a longer bed, because it's got a longer stretch across it. There are certain things where your long wheelbase will win. If it's like you say, if it's heavy, it needs to be a long wheelbase. Height restrictions, you know, it's got to go into a car park. Some places, long wheelbase going to. And if you're doing the multi-drop, if you're doing the Amazon and stuff like that, because as I was, I was doing the Argos when the lockdown came, doing that in a Luton, that's a pain. Because they're big motors and trying to get them around narrow streets when cars are parked either side because everybody's off work because everyone's, you know, isolated at home. That was painful. And it would have been a lot easier to do in a smaller van. So from the multi-drop they score. But on the exchange, on the whole, I still say, if you, unless you want to get involved in trucks, and trucks are involved, um, you're best off running in a Luton curtain with a tail. I never had a curtain. We're looking back on it, I probably should have had a curtain fitted. I'd have got my, I think I'd have got my money back in two months, but I never bothered.
I was always frightened of curtains. I always thought, I don't know, something would fall, it would fall out the side. Now I'm running curtains all the time. That's when I'm not running in pieces. Not that I ever get a chance. So, Anyway, sorry for the delay, mate. But I hope it answers your question. That's, in my opinion, why a Luton is better than a long wheelbase. But whatever you're running in, I hope you're out there. And I hope you're taking care and taking money.